Greetings on this Reformation Day, this All Saints Eve Day. Let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they might be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. I want to begin with the Gospel reading from the 8th chapter of John today. Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you are free indeed. The Gospel of the Lord. So if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. As the story goes, on October 31st, 1517, the eve of All Saints Day at high noon, Martin Luther nailed his 95 Theses to the door of the Castle Church in Wittenberg. With the ring of the hammer, the Reformation began. Today is the anniversary of that event, the day we remember that opened up countless opportunities for the children of God to get to know God in Christ Jesus better and without the help of anyone with personal agendas interpreting scripture for them. We celebrate and we remember this day for with the ringing of the hammer, change began in the church. Church at that time was much different than it is now. Regular people, children could not read the Bible. There were no printing presses, so only special religious people had access to the Word of God. So the rest of the people, the ordinary people, had to believe whatever their pastors or priests or bishops told them, what the Bible said. Many of these pastors and priests had never read the Bible themselves and really didn't know what it actually said except for what someone else told them that it said. Sadly, even today, pastors and priests, as well as the lay people, sometimes, no often, twist what is in the Bible to fit their own agendas, just as they did in Luther's day, except for a big difference. Today, thanks to the printing press, that was invented at the same time the Reformation began. We all have access to Bibles. We can all read and study the Bible and learn God's truth for ourselves. Jesus tells us in our Gospel lesson today that if we continue in the Word, we are His disciples and we will know the truth, and the truth will set us free. Do we even want to be free? Do we want to live freely? Or is it just plain easier to agree with the world rather than hear and understand that the word that calls and grants us freedom also calls us on a path that will not be easy? The world will not appreciate your freedom. The powers that be in this world would much rather control you so that they can maintain power, so that they can decide what you think and do. I don't know, but it sure seems like a lot of people today are willing to give up their freedom for who knows what. But if you really want to be free, then get to know the Word of God. Get to know the Son of God. Get to know Jesus, who is the Word. I have a blessed Reformation Day, and may the Lord be with you now and always. In Jesus Christ, amen.